Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. We're going to work on multiplication and multiplying whole numbers. I know everybody watching this has already learned how to do multiplication and learned uh, their multiplication table, so I'm expecting that. Um, and I know that you all have had some practice with multiplying, but here we're going to just do some problems to make sure your skills are really good with multiplication. So if you have uh, any problem with what we're doing here, you need to really practice a lot because multiplication is going to be something you use all the time in every class you take in math from here on out. So let's just start with some easier problems and we'll just kind of work up to more complicated problems. What if we're doing 85 times 2? 85 times 2. We want to line everything up so that the 2 is underneath the 5. So the first thing we do is say 2 times 5 is 10. We put a 0 and then we carry a 1 to the next column. And then we do 8 times 2 is 16, and whatever we carry, the 16, we add to it. That will be 17, so it would be 170. There's no other digits anywhere uh, here to multiply by, so the answer we get is just 170. That's the final answer. Okay, so we can draw a little circle around that if you want. All right, what if we have the problem 74 times 4? Okay, so again, we start multiplying on the right-hand side. 4 times 4 is 16, but we can't just write 16. We have to put a 6 and carry a 1 to the next column. Then we take the 4 and multiply by that digit, which is 4 times 7 is 28, plus what we carried, 1, which is 29. And we can go ahead and put the whole 29 down here because there's no other digits to carry to. And so what we'll have then is 296, and that's the final answer. There's no other digits to multiply anywhere, so you're done with that. Now let's increase the, um, the size of the top number to 124 multiplied times 3. All right, so we do the same sort of thing. 3 times 4 is 12. We can't write the whole 12 down, so we put a 2 and carry a 1 to the next column over. Then we do 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So we just write the 7, and then we do 3 times 1 is 3. So what you're doing is you're multiplying each time by uh, each digit above and you're carrying as you need to go. So what we got there was 372. Now we'll do another three digit, 507 times 6. So we start on the right hand side, 6 times 7 is 42. We can't write the whole thing down, so we put a 2 and carry a 4. 6 times 0 is, is uh, 0, plus the 4 just gives us the 4 down here. And then 5 times 6, we can write the whole 30 down there because there's nothing else to carry to. So we, when we're done with that, we can just write the whole number down. We get 3,042, and that's the final answer. Let me switch colors. And we're just going to get to a little bit higher complexity now at this point because now we're going to be multiplying something like 14 times 21. So now we have a two-digit times a two-digit. So when you have that kind of thing going on, you start with the right-hand digit and you multiply times both, and then you do the left-hand digit times both. So that's how you handle it. So let's start on the right. One times four is gonna give us four. One times one is gonna give us one. Now before we can do this multiplication, we go down to the next line and we add a zero there, okay? And then we do two times four gives us an eight. Two times one gives us a two. So now I have these things stacked up on top of each other and I add them. 4 plus 0 gives us 4. 8 plus 1 is 9. And then 2, there's nothing above it, so you just carry it, is 294. So when you go down to multiplying by the next digit over, you add that 0 there as a placeholder. 